to be having trouble speak, speaking and breathing, let's get your oxygen saturation, okay? And let's see how you're doing. It's okay, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna have a little listen to your chest. Just try to take some deep breaths in and out. You're perfect. Okay, I'm gonna listen to each side and I'm gonna compare. Wow, it's really tight. Seems like you have more kind of strange noises when you're exhaling than you do when you're inhaling. So let me try tapping and see. Okay. Wow, there's a dullness as I tap at the bottom compared to the top. So maybe you've got some fluid in your lungs. Let me look and see on your nail beds if they're blue. There's a little blue tinge there. Let me look at your lips. Yeah, let me look in your gums. Okay. Can you open your mouth for me? Let me have a look inside. All right. Jocelyn, do you have a puffer that you use when you get tight like this? Do you want to try it? Is that how you normally take it, Jocelyn? Yeah? Is that how the doctor prescribed it to you, or did they recommend using a spacer? Um, I'm not sure of this. Probably been a while, eh, since you had it. Okay, all right, so yeah, your oxygen's a little low. So, Jocelyn, the reason we use a spacer is because when you puff it into your mouth, you get very a very short, quick breath, so it only goes right here. If we want it to get into the deep part of your lungs where you have some wetness, and you need to use one of these, okay? So put it in the end. And then you can spray the medicine in there. You don't have to coordinate it. Just put the medicine in and then now put it into your mouth and start taking a slow. Hold it if you can, hold it if you can. Okay, perfect. Let's do another one. And Good. Okay. And we'll wait a couple minutes, but you can do that four times, okay? But do you see the difference in the breath? That now it allows you to take that nice deep breath and get it into your bases. <coughs> perfect, perfect. <coughs> Good. So as the lungs start to reinflate, you start to cough because those little sacs of air at the bottom start to to unstick and open up, so the coughing is really normal, okay? And in fact, we might want to get you to do a couple exercises called deep breathing and coughing. So can you take a deep breath in, and then cough out as hard as you can. <coughs> perfect, perfect, try again. <coughs> Good, you're still a little tight, let's try one more time. <coughs> Good, good job, good job. Okay, I think it's worthwhile doing some chest physio for you, okay? So let me move this, these things here, and I'll get set up, and let's just move some of that air along. All right, how do you feel, Jocelyn? Just a little tight. A little tight, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some percussion on your back, I'm gonna cut my hand, and I'm just going to do like this up and down, okay? Just to loosen some of that phlegm up. Okay, I do it for five minutes on each side. actually a little bit more elevation at your hips. Can you yeah. Okay, so I really want to get some postural drainage going here.
essential oils, okay? And then I want you to rub the essential oils, cup it, put it over your nose, and take a deep breath in, through your nose, hold it, hold it, hold it, breathe out slowly through your nose. We're just trying to slow your re your breathing rate, but increase the depth. We also want to turn on your nose and get it working, okay? So try to breathe more through your nose than you do your mouth, because when you breathe through your mouth, you create inflammation in your lungs that's going to make your asthma 